Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a Diophantine equation. We have x squared minus xy plus y squared equals 76. x and y are integers. And we're going to be evaluating x plus y. So let's go ahead and see how we can solve this equation. This is a quadratic Diophantine equation because x and y are raised to the second power. And because it's a quadratic Diophantine equation, we can actually use some identities. Now, one of the things I want to show you first is something that wouldn't work. Because sometimes you don't always get to the solution, right? For example, if you consider x plus y squared, that will give us x squared, y squared, and 2xy. To get to negative xy, we need to subtract 3xy. So this will be an identity given the equation. But can we do something about this? x plus y is a sum, this is a product, but the problem is we have two variables. I mean, you can kind of solve this equation, like, is this going to be a perfect square for all values of p? No. There are certain values that will make this a perfect square, and you can kind of think of them, for example, 8 would work, because if p is 8, then you're going to get s equals plus minus 10, right? So then the question becomes, can you find two numbers whose product is 8 and whose sum is plus minus 10? Okay? And it's not always going to give you integer solutions. It's going to be a little painful. So let's go ahead and approach this from another angle. Obviously, you could also write x minus y squared and then just add xy to it. But it'll be very similar to this one. Okay? So this is probably not going to help. Let's go ahead and approach this problem differently. x squared minus xy plus y squared equals 76. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put everything on the same side. And then turn this into a quadratic. It's already quadratic, but if you go ahead and write this as x squared, and go ahead and erase this, and write it as Maybe I'll just switch these around and write this as yx. And I think there's a minus sign there, right? Hopefully this will make it more clear. Now this is an equation that is quadratic in x. Obviously you can also make it quadratic in y. It doesn't matter because we have symmetry, right? So x and y are interchangeable. And since the problem is asking for x plus y, it doesn't really matter which one you pick as x and which one you pick as y, because the sum will be constant in that case. Okay? Cool. Now, once we write this as a quadratic in x or, or we make it clear, we can go ahead and use the quadratic formula, right? The quadratic formula says that x can be written as negative b, which is y, plus minus the square root of b squared, which is y squared, minus for AC, A is 1, so it's just going to be C, and that is Y squared minus 76. Notice that because this is quadratic in X, this will be a constant. Make sense? Because it's not in terms of X. Anything that is not in terms of X is considered a constant. All right. Now let's go ahead and finish this up. We're going to divide it by 2. So we have something under the radical, which needs to be simplified. Let's go ahead and simplify it. It's going to be y squared minus 4y squared, which is negative 3y squared. And then negative 4 times negative 6 is positive 304. So we can write this as 304 minus 3y squared. Awesome. And then all of that is divided by 2. Now, in order to get integer solutions from here, the y plus minus the radical needs to be divisible by 2. But not only that, the expression under the radical needs to be a perfect square. Otherwise, you're going to get irrational solutions. So this needs to be something like z squared, where z is an integer. And in that case, x can be written as y plus minus z divided by 2. When you take the square root, you're going to get plus minus, but we already have that. Make sense? So once you find the values of z and y, you can go ahead and average them or subtract them and divide by 2. And that'll give you the x value. So we're going to find the y values first. 
right? Actually, first we're going to find the, well, probably Z and Y first. Okay, let's see what this means. We have 304 minus 3Y squared equals Z squared. Let's go ahead and put the 3Y squared and Z squared on the same side. So we can kind of write the equation as Z squared plus 3Y squared equals 304. One other thing that I want you to notice, when you get an equation like this, this is actually a linear Diophantine equation, but we have the perfect square. So it actually has fewer solutions because if you just had something like m plus 3 n is 304, this equation would have more solutions because m and n don't have to be perfect squares. Make sense? But in this case, it's actually a little different. So we can approach it in different ways. Let me quite and show you how we can solve this. One way to do it is just use substitution and turn it into something like this. And then from here, we can actually use modular arithmetic to kind of simplify and find parametric solutions. What does that mean? We can express M and N in terms of a third variable like T. Okay, so how, this is how it works. We're going to look at this equation in mod 4. I mean 3. That's what I meant. Mod 3, this is going to be equivalent to m plus 0 will be congruent to 3 or 4. Mod 3, that is going to be 1. Because 304 is not divisible by 3, but 3 or 3 is. So it leaves a remainder of 1 upon division by 3. Make sense? This is mod 3. Let's write it one more time for emphasis. And this basically means that m can be written as 3k plus 1, where k is an integer. Make sense? And now we can go ahead and plug this into this equation and see what we can find for n. That's going to give us 3k plus 1 plus 3n equals 304. And then 3k plus 3n is 303. This kind of makes sense because 303 is divisible by 3. So we can go ahead and simplify this and get k plus n is 101. Awesome. Definitely we have an expression for m. Now we do have an expression for n. n can be written as 101 minus k. You can also write it as negative k plus 101, but I like this one better. So now we have these two things, right? So we can kind of write the m comma n ordered pair as 3k plus 1 comma 101 minus k, where k is an integer just like m and n and all the other variables. Cool. So we kind of got the parametric solution. So k is the parameter here. And by changing the values of k, you can find, you know, many values, many solutions for m and n. But another stipulation or condition that we need to have is that M and N are perfect squares. So here's the thing. We do need that 3K plus 1 is a perfect square. And in this case, M actually represents Z squared, right? So this would be Z squared. And 101 minus K, it needs to be M, I mean Y squared. So you got to find certain K values. For example, is K equals 1 going to work? Good question, right? And the answer is yes. Because if k is equal to 1, then we get z squared equals 4 and y squared equals 100. And from here you get z equals plus minus 2 and y equals plus minus 10. Great. This gives you a bunch of solutions such as you can basically go with, and if you remember, if you remember, x was y plus minus z over 2. So x can be written as y plus minus z over 2. And by using several different values such as 2 comma 10, and I'm, I guess I should probably write it, I think y comma z is better, so let's write it as y comma z. 10 comma 2 will be like y comma z, right? And in this case, for example, we get two solutions for x. x can be 10 plus 2 divided by 2, which is 6, or x can be 10 minus 2 divided by 2, which is 4. So from here, we get the following, x equals 6 and y equals 10. We don't really care about z, c is just a dummy variable, it's temporary, we need to get to x and y. So from here, x will be 4 and y will be 10.
Make sense? And since we're looking for x plus y, it will be 16 or 14. Obviously, there are many other values that you can look for, but this is the main idea. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.